Matthew, lovely to see you. Nice to be here. Question one, it's the thing that everyone wants to know. What are you going to wear? What am I going to wear to... Oh, I don't know, maybe the Oscars. Oh, that party. What am I going to wear? Uh, some tux, I'm not sure what yet. Oh, come uh, on. Bow, I'm really not sure. Bow tie, regular tie? Probably bow tie. I really haven't given it much thought yet. I bet your wife has thought about it. I bet she has. I know she has. Do you give advice in those areas? No, I, uh, I observe her choices, and then I sit back, and she comes out and tries this on, and I give my opinion on it. And... What, a real opinion? Or do you just, presumably oh. everything she wears, you just say, you look fantastic? No, 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 no. Because if you say it looks fantastic across the board, then they know there's no discernment. Then they can't, she can't trust me. Now, there's some things I go, that works, but you know what? That doesn't look quite right here, and we figure it out. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's brave. If you say everything looks good, they're not going to believe you. Okay. Mr. Woodruff, you've tested positive for HIV. Have you ever engaged in homosexual conduct? Homo, homo. Did you say homo? You made a mistake. We estimate you have 30 days left. Your role in this film yeah. took you to extraordinary lengths. I lost 47 pounds. I gave myself four months to do it. Um, it was something I needed to do for the role. It wasn't an affectation. It wasn't an eccentric idea I had. It was something I needed to do to to truly do my best to portray Ron Woodruff, because that's the shape he was in. And he had HIV in 1986, and he was, his body was withering away. And so you start this process, presumably, of, of extreme weight loss, and w what was the effect it was having on you? It basically structured my life uh, in, in a way that helped me do what I needed to do to go be Ron Woodruff, to go portray Ron Woodruff, meaning... Um, I noticed how many hours a day I either think about, anticipate, or eat food, or socialize. That adds up to about six hours a day. So I had six hours a day I needed to fill to entertain myself. And what I did is I surrounded myself with everything Ron Woodruff, everything Dallas Buyers Club, everything FDA, everything I could learn about HIV and, and AIDS at that time in 86. And so for five months, that's what I was doing. I was basically a hermit living inside, had controlled meals, stayed inside, couldn't go out and get sunshine either. Um, and just dove into Ron Woodruff and Dallas Buyers Club, and there was plenty of research to do. They got good meds out of Mexico that's better than what you can get here in the States. And you can't buy this in the USA? I'm proof. You could be making a fortune off of this. Your performance in the film is extraordinary. Were you conscious as you were going through the process that it was a bit, this was a bit mm. special? I'll say this. When I first read the script, I knew it had the potential to be special. These kind of story, this kind of character doesn't come along across an actor's desk very often. And when it does, no one wants to make it like this movie. No one wanted to make it for 20 years. Now, when we were doing it, um, I was conscious that it, that it could be something special. I was having an, experience, an acting experience of a lifetime, which gives no guarantee that the film's going to be any good. Can I talk to you about the way Hollywood works? Because I'm, I'm fascinated. So now you are hugely acclaimed... Oscar-nominated actor, but it wasn't always thus. There has been a kind of an ebb and flow, hasn't there, well, which people have referenced to your career. There's a certain bit of branding that went on, so I had to say no to things first. That was a six-month period, and then after that message got through, there was an impasse. There was nothing for about a year. So I didn't go, and then, I'm the, then the target drew the arrow somehow. You know, the ideas, people, I became someone's good idea, and the boomerang came back, and people came to me with good projects. Good luck at the Oscars. Thank you. Enjoy the night. Oh, no. Whatever you wear. Oh, we will. <laughs> Absolutely. It's time to celebrate.